What's going on, guys? We are here with American setter Lauren Carlini. And Lauren, I, I'm not going to say a clean 3 nothing win uh, against the Dominican because they pushed back hard, but a solid 3 nothing win for you guys uh, here in the final pool play match of the Norseca Championships. So you guys clinch first place, qualify for the semifinals. You get tomorrow, day off. Nice little, nice little day off. They came out aggressive. They came out hard. They were leading in that first set. They were pushing in the second. What did you guys do to kind of weather that storm to be able to take this one in three? Totally. First off, Dominican played amazing today. Um, I think we were not surprised, but just they came out really strong and we were on our heels a little bit. So it was about our response, um, not only in the first, but in the second as well. We came from behind again. And a lot of it was just staying patient and knowing that we're not going to get it all in one point. It's about chipping away and just staying the course. And so keeping them within two or three points, I feel like we use that to our advantage. Um, and all we got to do is chip away. So staying aggressive, um, but also being patient, finding that fine line. You, early on in the game, Ali Franti was struggling a little bit. She struggled in serve receive. She was struggling in hitting. Was that something that you were aware of to be able to give her a little bit more volume to get her back into the game? Yeah, I think with that, right, when you see a teammate and you feel like you need to help them out, it's about bringing them into the circle, settling them down, um, and just letting them know, like, hey, we got, your, we got your back. Like, it doesn't matter how you're playing right now. We know it's going to get better. Um, and, again, same thing with her, just chipping away and staying in the match and giving her that energy and kind of positivity to let her breathe a little bit more um, I think was great. So how she responded um, in the second and third was just awesome to watch and awesome to see. And it's not easy to get out of a hole early, um, but she did that. And yeah, just trying to help her out as best as we can. On the other side of the net, it seemed like Brenda was digging everything. Yeah. Like classic Brenda. Um, she, she was absolutely unreal. Is that something that you guys are aware of? Is there a certain point where like, hey, she's, she's on her game tonight. We need to keep the ball away from her. Um, I don't know if it's so much keep the ball away, but just keep working within our game plan and chipping away at edges and I think we know she's one of the best if not the best libero in the world um, she's going to take up a lot of court not only on defense but on passing as well so maybe limiting her chances um, but still going for it and staying aggressive on our side um, yeah just mad props to her like we love watching her play and it's hard playing against her for sure you got the MVP box tonight. What's what's in what's inside the box? Let's. I haven't I haven't got I haven't got a look at the one of these yet. Oh, that's just maple maple goodies. It's just it's just sugar upon sugar. We got a sucker. We got a cute little mini maple syrup. I think this is maple butter. Oh, there we go. And then some candies. Oh, those oh those 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 rock. Oh those my gosh. those are unreal. Only the best here in Canada. Of course, of <laughs> uh, of course. Now, um, um, day off tomorrow. Are you guys gonna? I'm sure you guys are gonna practice. You guys gonna take some time to check out the town, see, see some sights. What's in the schedule for tomorrow? Yeah. Or is or is Karch gonna let you guys know once you get back to the the dressing room? Um, for sure, we're about to find out what our schedule is, but we're definitely gonna have practice and some training. Um, definitely tighten a couple things up on our end in preparation for Saturday, um, and hoping. Yeah, we already checked out a little bit of. I think it's old Quebec. Um, saw that downtown. It's like you're in a f little French town. That's like European, eh? Very nice. And uh, yeah, so we were able to. Watch walk around there and do a little sightseeing and hopefully we can get back at it tomorrow. How important is this North Seca tournament for you guys? Obviously, like it, volleyball is always geared towards the Olympics. That's all we ever talk about. You know, you're starting the quads. How important is this tournament uh, looking forward because you guys have the Olympic qualifiers later in the month and how 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 do you guys stay in the present moment and not get too far, too far ahead of yourselves looking for that one? Yeah, I think for us, it's we've been in a really tough training block the last three to four weeks. So being able to come and play a different team that's not our own teammates, um, it's been really hard to score in our gym the last two weeks just because we know each other really well. So getting out here and being able to play another team, um, face some good competition here in the last couple days, it's just... It's just good to play another team and also prepare for Olympic qualifiers, knowing that we want to secure a bid um, and become top two in that tournament and knowing that's also going to be a grueling process with um, seven games in eight days or nine days. So very similar setup with Norseca Continental Championships here and just a good preparation overall. Classic volleyball. Let's just stuff as many games into one yeah. period as possible. If we could do club style where it's like three times a day, like Memorial Day, three tournament, yeah, it's insane. So, club thank style. God thank God we're not doing that anymore. Just in a convention hall somewhere. <laughs> just, I mean, I was going to play play on sport court, but we're literally playing on sport court here. Um, yeah, it's pretty close. I got like PTSD walking on the court, and there's a very specific sound with the sport court, and I was like, oh my God, this brings me back to 12 year old like volleyball. But we're here, we're doing it, and uh, it's been a blast. At least this one's on like a, a gym floor and not on the concrete of a, of a convention center. And then the piece of felt underneath. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, exactly. So last night we saw a historic moment in women's volleyball and NCAA volleyball with the Nebraska Huskers hosting yeah. hosting that massive ninety thousand person. Is is that something that you guys were aware of? Like, did, did you guys watch the match? And how important is something like that for the growth of, of not only volleyball, but women's sport in, in general? Yeah, um, we were well aware that was happening and we were all rooting for it to be successful. And not only for, like you said, volleyball, but women's sports in general. 92,003, I think, was the final number in terms of attendance. And for them to host that on such a grand scale. Um, Nebraska is, of course, a powerhouse in terms of volleyball and sports and just being able to kind of be a part of that and support the volleyball world and the women's sports world. It's amazing. I don't know if anyone's ever going to beat it, but I, I feel like people are going to try and give it a go. But just watching that and getting goosebumps with the flyovers and everything going on, it was just an incredible spectacle and I'm glad they pulled it off. And Still not a Husker fan, but I am a volleyball and women's sports fan. That was my night. Like, is there any yeah. is there any smack talk between like Laura, because like yeah. everyone knows the Badgers and the Huskers like right. don't. And there's a lot of rivalry there, and you yeah. guys actually held the record before that yeah. by hosting in your basketball gym. So was there, was was Larson, you know, talking a little smack uh, out there to to you and Recky? Um, who was who said it today? I think Jordan Larson at breakfast was like, "So are you guys Husker fans yet?" And we're like, "Absolutely not." No, we're not. But we're volleyball fans, so we're happy that happened. And um, I know people were talking up Kelly Sheffield, like, oh, what's he going to do in response? So we'll see if anything comes of it. But um, overall, I think just an amazing job by Nebraska Volleyball and John Cook for putting it together and making it happen and breaking a world record. Yeah, it's just been all over all of my social social, social media feeds. How big is the Wisconsin football stadium? Can it, can it rival that? That's a good question. I want to say it's 80,000, so I don't think we can even do it in Camp Randall. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, congratulations on the win today. Have a great day off tomorrow, and best of luck in the semis on uh, Saturday. Appreciate it. Awesome. Thanks, guys.